Hey guys, I got a Logic Pro X quick tip video for you today on how to get all of your MIDI notes and the piano roll to the same velocity. So you might have tried highlighting everything and gone to the velocity slider here and sliding it up and it won't go up and it won't go down all the way. They won't go to the same one. The reason why is because this one right here and this one right here are maxed out. So you can't bring all of them up. Super easy fix. You hold option and drag them up and now they will move together. Make sense? That's a very, very quick way to do that. Another option on how to do that is to bring up this fader from down here to do your automation on MIDI. You select note velocity and you can actually draw where you want them all to be. So you can put them all in kind of a line and then bring them up. The way that I actually do this, I'm gonna undo all that, is I use the command click in the piano roll editor, set it to velocity tool. Now what you can do is when you hold command, you can change Oop, let me unselect everything. You can change the individual velocity of each note. So if you hit Command A to select all of them, and then hold Command and Option at the same time, and now you can change all of them to the same. So if you want like all your electronic drums to be at 127 velocity, that's how you would do that. Makes sense? Nice and easy. So again, the shortcut is to hit Option and drag or set your Command Click tool to Velocity, Command, Option and drag up and down. So I hope that helped you guys out. If this did help you out, hit the like button for me. That helps out my channel. If you want to see more tips like this in the future, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. Don't forget to check out my other Logic Pro videos. I have a whole video series on running live backing tracks in Logic, including MIDI, lighting, and backing tracks and video and stuff like that. I have a playlist for all my Logic Pro tips. And I also just released a video of 50 shortcuts and key commands to improve your workflow in Logic. So be sure to check those out. Thank you guys again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.